Hi everyone, I am Amani and I am a senior software engineer at WSO2. In this demo, I will be explaining how you can monitor a distributed system using WSO2 Business Activity Monitor. Let's say you have multiple servers which are distributed in different clusters and you want to have a centralized logging system which can be used to analyze and monitor events happening in your distributed environment. It's pretty simple if you use uh, WSO2 BAM 2.4.0. It has all the right set of tools along with complex eventing to handle both real time and batch processing of log data. So in this demo, I will be using WSO2 app server to send log events to BAM and BAM along with complex eventing features will monitor these logs and alert to relevant parties if a suspicious or an unexpected activity happen in app server. And also we will be discussing how you can process batch data using BAM analyzers for long running data. Finally, we will be discussing how you can create gadgets for analyze data using Gadget Gen tool and BAM dashboards. Let's see how we can send log events to BAM. In order to do that, I am going to use a Log4j appender which will publish log events to BAM event receivers and BAM event receivers will capture these data and send it to Cassandra. So uh, let's see how we can do that. I have already downloaded WSO2 BAM, so I'm going to extract it. For this demo, I will be needing MySQL connector because I will I need to connect to MySQL to do the analytics. So I'm going to copy the MySQL connector to BAM. You need to copy to repository component lib folder and also uh, we need to enable mail transport since we will be sending emails. So you need to go to repository conf access to access to client xml and under trans transport senders you need to add your email transports. So now I'm going to start the server. Until the BAM is starting, we can configure app server uh, to publish log events. So since we are using a log4j appender, you need to go to uh, repository conf log4j properties file. And by default, you will uh, see the log log event uh, appender configuration so we only need to enable them so you need to go to root logger and add the log event appender so now we have configured app server to send logs to BAM so let's see whether our BAM is started. So BAM is started. So I'm going to start the app server. So when the app server is starting, if you go to the BAM site, you can see a new stream definition is getting created. And if you go to BAM management console, I'm going to log as admin admin under uh, Cassandra Explorer you can see a column family a new column family getting created and if you go inside the column family you have all the log events and also if you want to see the stream definition uh, you can go to stream definition under meta case 
there you have all the columns and the meta information about the column family now that we have enabled log event publishing to bam let's see how we can do monitoring and alerting uh, here i'm using complex event processing features uh, so that we can do real time analytics uh, in this example i will be analyzing each log event and see if there's error message it will send an email to the relevant parties so let's see how we can do it so i'm going back to my bam management console and under configure you can define your input event adapter so i'm going to create an input event adapter so my input event adapter is log event receiver since this is a wso2 event i'm going to give the event adapter type as wso2 event and then add it and also you need to define your output event adapter since we are sending a email i'm going to call it email sender and here i'm going to select email and also you can give the subject i'm going to give it as error detected then i'm going to test the connection and add the event adapter so now we have created the adapters uh, now we need to create a stream so we can capture the uh, log event stream so under main you have event streams so i have already listed down my uh, information regarding my stream so i'm going to add a new stream i'm going to call it the same stream name as uh, cassandra stream so stream version will be 100 and i'm going to fill these up and give the meta information and i'm going to add the payload After adding all the attributes, I'm going to save the event stream. Once you create an event stream, uh, you will automatically get a builder mapping this event stream. So if you go to configure and under event builders, you will see an event builder created under the stream name. So now we can create our execution plans. Uh, so I'm going to add an execution plan. I'm going to say log event error log event detector so I'm going to say this. and under import stream I am going to select the stream we created and I'm going to give an alias as log events I'm going to import it so uh, here we need to write a CEP query so I have already written a query I'm going to copy paste it here so in this query we are taking log events from that stream we created and if the priority is error then 
it will send it to an output stream called exception stream so i will be sending the log message start phrase and the server name so let's validate our expression so i'm going to create the output stream i'm going to call it as exception stream and i'm going to create a new stream for that so you don't need to give the parameters manually it will look at the query and get the parameters accordingly so now i have created the exception stream and also we need to create the uh, event formatter which send emails so i'm going to create custom event formatter here you can uh, give a name i will be giving uh, a text so i have to give the email body so i am selecting the server name from the stream attributes as well as the message and the stack trace so they will be in my email body so now i am going to give an email address subject will be error detected so i'm going to add the matter and now i'm going to add it and save the execution plan so now we have saved the execution plan let's see how we can uh, invoke an error and get an email so now i'm going to invoke a service I'm going to uh, log into my App Server Management Console. Yeah, I'm going to invoke a service called Log Event Service. I'm going to uh, generate some error logs and then i'm going to see if that error log got detected and got a mail so in my mail i have a mail call error occurred and with the server name with the exception message as well as the stack trace so now we have demonstrated uh, sending emails let's see how we can do uh, analytics and batch, batch processing using uh, BAM features now that we have created uh, real-time event processing using complex event processing features let's say uh, how we can do batch processing for long running data in order to demonstrate this, I am uh, writing a small Hive query which extract data from the Cassandra data storage and analyze them using the analyzer framework and send the logs into MySQL data storage. So let's see how we can do it. So I have created a database in MySQL called MyBAMDB and uh, this is the hive query that i'm using so in this hive query there are three parts the first part consists of cassandra information like what is the column family we will be using and the key space and also what columns we are taking in in the second part we have the mysql information like jdbc url and the username password and the driver as well as the database schema in the third section we are going to take data from cassandra and send the send the selected data you can give any algorithm here and send it to mysql so let's see how we can do it so i'm going to copy this hive script and under hive scripts i'm going to add the script 
so I'm going to say it's log event analyzer I'm going to copy the script and I'm going to execute it so when I'm executing this it will create a Hadoop map reduce job and it will execute that map reduce job so after successful execution you will see data and if you go to mysql you will see a new table getting created and if you select data from that you will see the log events so now let's save this script when you are saving you can schedule it so I am going to schedule it to run every hour so now we have saved our analytics script now let's see how we can do the visualization so for the visualization I'm going to get data from our MySQL database and create gadgets and display in the gadget dashboard so I'm going back to BAM and under tools you have a tool called gadget gen tool here you can give your JDBC credentials like the database URL and the driver along with username password I'm going to test the connection and I have uh, used a simple SQL query which count the tenant ID and uh, for a given priority so let's preview the result I'm going to click next so here you can pick the UI element I'm going to create a bar chart for the Y axis I'm going to give the count and for the X axis I'm going to give the priority so I'm going to click next I'm going to give a name and generate it once you generate it you can go to dashboard there you can add gadgets giving the URL so uh, that's it uh, on monitoring and alerting uh, a distributed setup In this demo, I have discussed how we can do monitoring using BAM and CEP. For that, I have selected three main scenarios, how we send events to BAM. Then we discuss how we can do analytics, real time and uh, batch data processing. And finally, we discuss how we can do visualization using BAM. So if you want further information about BAM and CEP, you can visit our dot com site it's www.wso2.com and under that you can go visit wso2 bam product and cep product for further details thank you